All right, we are live. So thank you, Jody. Um, my name is Nora. I'm with Travel Leaders, and I'd like to introduce Jody Murphy from Regent Seven Seas Cruises. She's going to be taking us through Alaska and the Mediterranean, and just talking to us about everything Regent Cruise and how we can have a really ultimate luxury, spacious, unbelievable cruise experience. So Jody, take it away. Thanks, Nora. And welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you to Market Square Travel and Nora for having me this evening. My name is Jody Murphy and I'm the business development manager for the central region with Regent 76 Cruises. And if you don't know anything about Regent, you are in the right place tonight. We are an award-winning cruise line celebrating our 29th anniversary this year. Uh, you may have actually listened to the Facebook Live yesterday with Ted, Nora, and Karen, who could give this presentation themselves. It was such a great conversation. And if you have not watched it, I would highly recommend that you do. So I know that we are all looking forward to the safe return of cruising sometime soon. And today our topic is unrivaled space at sea. We are talking about maximum elbow room along with true luxury, true all-inclusive experience. And there is no better cruise line to share on this topic than Regent Seven Seas Cruises. Now, but first I want to talk quickly about everyone's first concern, the elephant in the room, safety. And many questions cannot be answered at this time, but safety measures on board are a critical part of our story. And, and on this slide, you'll see things that we have put together already you know, before anything has gone into play with health and safety and, and what is required. But we know that each of you expect that all of the standards will be met and please know that we strive to exceed them as in everything that we do. So rest assured, we will sail, we'll be ready. We will create a bubble on board that is just as safe as your bubble at home. Now we have a healthy cell panel that has been studying COVID-19 since mid 2020. And they submitted a list of the 74 health and safety protocol recommendations to the CDC at the end of the year. And we're anxiously waiting to hear the requirements to get back to cruising. They're currently suspended through May of this year. Now, onto the good stuff. Now we are all inclusive and I wanted to review what we always include up front in our pricing. It may seem higher at first glance, but consider everything. From business class air included on intercontinental flights, economy air on domestic flights, free unlimited shore excursions, free two and three night land programs and select voyages, a one night cruise cruise hotel package and concierge suites and higher, free unlimited beverages including fine wines, premium spirits, and this isn't this isn't just you have a dollar amount to reach and then you have to pay the additional amount. This is true free unlimited fine dines fine wines and premium spirits, open bars, lounges, in-suite mini bar, repl replenished daily. And there are so many that don't include the mini bar. If you want a bottle of water in the middle of the night, you can get up and you can have that. Also, it includes the alcohol and we will provide that free of charge. Gratuities, specialty restaurants, transfers between the airport and ships, free limited Wi-Fi, and new for us is free valet laundry service. So there are no packages and things that you have to decide on, on what you want to have and what you don't want to have, what you have to forfeit, you know, to be able to afford it. It's just all included with us. Now it's really important to compare apples to apples when, when pricing out your vacation. So your travel advisor at Market Square Travel can help you do this. In fact, we even have charts available to share with you. The reality is that this type of luxury inclusiveness allows you to feel different while on vacation. There's an ease about it. It's refreshing. There's no hassle. There's not waiting for that final bill, alcohol, tip. Just let it be and enjoy. And we do these comparisons here to show you that so you understand the value that we have. So we always compare ourselves with uh, uh, another luxury cruise line and then a premium cruise line. And you'll see, and I know that my head is probably in the top right corner that's covering this, but the top right is a premium cruise line that has a guest capacity of 2,915 guests. 
And our fare in this example for the Mediterranean starts at $77.99 per person. And the premium cruise line starts at $19.79 per person. So a lot of times, you know, people will say, well, put me on that premium cruise line. It's way less expensive. But when you add up everything that you want to do on this trip of a lifetime, and you go down and, and to the bottom, your fare with Regent is still the same as when it started. And the premium cruise line is it's so close to us at a luxury cruise line with 700 passengers compared to 2,915 passengers. This is where your travel advisor can help you understand that you can actually sail on a luxury cruise for about the same, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on the destination. So ask them to help you understand that. It's from when you get on a ship and when you get off the ship, there's there's the difference with some of those others. And with that, it's the same. Now we have a beautiful fleet of five ships that we refer to as the world's most luxurious fleet. We cater from 490 to 750 guests small, intimate, no lines. We've had a full refurbishment on all of our ships and our new 72 Splendor was christened in February of 2020 in Miami. She is just waiting for you to sail on her and she is branded as the as luxury perfected. We have a crew to guest ratio of one to 1.4. And this is a fact that sets us apart from many other cruise lines out there. Now, as I mentioned, today's topic is unrivaled space at sea, and I'll show you what we mean while also showing you some images of what it's like on board a region cruise. And having ample and lavish space and service on board our ships is nothing new for us. This is not a revolutionary concept, but rather a strong reminder of why personal space, dedicated one-one service, balconies, dining, why they are more important than ever. So as cruise lines are different, we wanted to show you an example of Regent versus another premium cruise line. So just look at the capacity between Splendor here and this other premium cruise line that's 750 guests versus 3,046 guests. More importantly, take a look at the space per person. That's what I call elbow room. Now, if you're a more visual person, this little picture down here shows you the guest capacity and how spacious we are compared to others. Now, the region unrivaled experience starts even before you step on board a perfectly sized ship. With the comfort of business, with a business class seat on intercontinental flights. And I think that this picture pretty much says it all right here. A truly enjoyable, uncrowded embarkation process. This ship is not even our smallest ship. This is a 700 passenger ship, in fact, Seven Seas Voyager between these other very large ships, where would you rather be? So if you're looking for less crowds, no lines, ease of vacation, it's time to look at Regent. Now here, as you will quickly discover, the warm smiles and greetings of our staff and crew extend well beyond this chilled glass of champagne that welcomes you as you board. As you set out on your voyage with us, our aim is to ensure you feel free to fully embrace and enjoy every aspect of your time with us. Now, our guests believe that we have the perfect size ship, large enough to have an array of accommodations and public spaces, yet never crowded and intimate. One of those ways is personal space on board. Our ships provide extravagant freedom for you to explore and relax to the fullest. This is what we call the luxury of personal space. And our Mariner and Voyager both have decks you can access along the sides of the ship close to Horizon Lounge where you can be as connected to other travelers as you like or as disconnected. There is always a pool lounger available and some on the second deck. You do not need to be near others if you choose privacy and yet there is ample opportunities to meet and mingle with other guests as well. Our lounges, observation lounge, libraries, they offer plenty of space on board for privacy. They're spacious and there is always room without feeling crowded on board at Regent Cruise. 
The Splendor and the Explorer offer indoor and outdoor seating at Coffee Connection. I can definitely see myself sitting here enjoying a specialty coffee in the mornings, which by the way, is included. There is no additional cost. And then our 70s Mariner has this large outdoor seating area right outside of Coffee Connection. Now, our world's most luxurious suite offers spacious, luxurious suites and personal balconies. We are 98% private balcony. And this is truly an example, I think, of a home away from home. It's not even our largest suite. Uh, got a living room, dining room, walk-in closet, mini bar, personalized, three movies on demand, everything that a guest needs to have a comfortable stay with us. No inside suites on a Regent. The larger suites feature some with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and an easy way to travel with friends or family and not feel crowded. The penthouse suites on Seven Seas Mariner, excellent, excellent, excellent example of space and comfort. There is actually a full wraparound sofa back here in the living area. And the penthouse suites on the Explorer and Splendor have been reimagined, and I think that they are absolutely beautiful suites. Now, this is a deluxe suite G1 or G2 on 70 Splendor, which is just one out from the lowest category. This is a minimum cabin size of 253 square feet, including a balcony size between 108 to 55 square feet. You can see how spacious our cabins are. We actually have a, an elite slumber bed collection on board that is so comfortable that our guests want these beds in their home. And you can actually order them if you'd like. Now, this would be a lead-in on the 70s Voyager concierge concierge suite D through E and what we call deluxe veranda suite F through H. The suite size is 356 square feet that includes a 50 square foot balcony. Spacious, right? And this would be a lead-in on our brand new ship, the 7 C Splendor. So minimum cabin size of 306 square feet, including a 50 square foot balcony. Beautiful. Now, we have some of the largest balconies at sea, especially on the Splendor and the Explorer. You can have probably a party of 12 on those balconies if you want, but you don't have to. And then personalized service. The best personalized and professional service on board Region 7 Seas Cruises. Our outstanding attendants and butlers will maintain your suite just the way that you like it, ensuring a fresh, warm, and comfortable home is awaiting your return every single day. Yet, Every single person on board will be there to make sure that every detail is taken care of for you. Now, in suite dining, we just spoke about our suites having plenty of space and so much space that you can comfortably dine in your cabin or on your balcony. This is included. At dinner, it can be course by course using our main dining room menu even. And this is not new for us, but maybe you just didn't know it was an option. This is luxury, it's personal preference, whatever way you want it. Now, our highly trained butlers and penthouse suites and above mean a personal service. The butler is dedicated to the guests in his suites. They will help with any arrangements needed while on board, as well as they're eager to help with the reception and concierge staff for you on board. The dedicated room stewards means there are not endless different staff entering your cabin. Your room attendants don't change throughout the voyage. They greet you on arrival, they learn your preferences, and that provides a sense of security. Now, we offer up to seven dining venues on board, depending on which ship you're sailing. All of our dining venues on board have ample seating space and gorgeous dining venues with plenty of tables for two. In fact, you are able to, join, to dine outside three times a day, should you choose. And there is no additional cost for specialty dining or packages that you have to purchase that, are, that, that aren't included, so just to have it included. Now, beginning with our main specialty restaurant, which is called Compass Rose, we are open seating, which means no required dining at the times at large tables with people you do not know. Compass Rose is known as our largest specialty restaurant at sea because we offer menu selections each night 
from our specialty dining venues, you could eat in Compass Roads every night of your cruise and have something different. And we also offer over 200 gourmet plant-based selections on board for breakfast, lunch, and dinner if you're looking for that option. Now, outdoor dining is available at La Veranda all day long. And in the evening, La Veranda turns into this, this delicious romantic Italian eatery called Sete Mari. And now with the expansion of the Cool Grill for dinner with this delicious casual menu, which is also weather permitting, there are more than enough options for dining that allow for social distancing and taking in the beautiful ocean air. And let me stress casual dining. Region is not stuffy, as some people may believe. Our dress code is country club casual, but at the Pool Grill, you can wear the clothes you wore out touring all day, you don't have to change and put on slacks or a, a collared shirt and worry about it. You can have a nice, casual, relaxing evening for dinner. And of course, our specialty dining restaurants are all works of art just in their space, like Pacific Rim. This is our Pan-Asian dining specialty venue. And again, many tables for two. This is Prime 7, our steakhouse. So you've got your surf and turf, those large steaks that, you know, Midwesterners like if you're watching from the Midwest, um, as I'm from the Midwest. I, I would say Prime 7 was one of my favorites. And then we've got Chartreuse, which is our modern French cuisine. And they may serve you French onion soup upside down in a bowl, for example. Now, this is huge, and we offer destination experiences in more private settings to allow each guest to have their unique vacation experience in a way that everyone is looking at a safe environment. And we offer multiple ways for you to experience this. First of all, with over 2,000 free unlimited shore excursions, that is just the start of an incredible array of shoreside opportunities in a safe and comfortable environment multiple tours in every port of call that are included, not just bus tours, city tours, or walking tours. We don't just give you one option in each port of call or one or two and tell you that we include all of the shore excursions, multiple shore excursions. We, all, we also will have our Smart Guide app, which we are working on um, bringing back to have on all voyages, but this will allow you to connect to the tour guide who's speaking using your own smartphone, your headphones, and stay socially distanced while hearing all that is being explained about your tour. So you don't have to get right up in front and stand next to the guide and everybody else all scrunched together to hear what's going on. So this is going to be a great option once we re return to cruising. Now, Regent Choice Shore Excursions are amazing experiences such as this in Catherine's Palace, it's absolutely amazing. It's just open for our guests, none of the crowds. And we also offer the following tours here to enrich your time and destinations, like go local tours. So if you have been to a port a few times, and but you're looking for a destination or you're going on a destination that there are many new ports to you, we offer in select ports go local tours where you can go into the city with the locals and experience it in a whole different way. Maybe going to a restaurant that is a hole in the wall and having the best authentic local food that you've ever had in your life and, and just spending time with the locals and, and learning what they do. For example, the floor tours, these are chef led tours. Now, two of our ships have a culinary arts kitchen, which is the Splendor and the Explorer. The Gourmet Explorer tours are able to uh, cooking classes. Um, now I can't think of what they're called, but cooking classes, which then you can add on these chef-led tours and go into the city with a chef and pick out all of the ingredients that you need to cook this delicious menu in your culinary arts kitchen class later on during that cruise. We also offer wellness tours, land programs, pre and post, and overland 
programs on select voyages. Now, also, so many opportunities to make your own custom arrangements. You can build a unique shoreside experience with our concierge on board, or even through our executive collection prior to your cruise with a private car and driver for that private experience and cater it to yourself. You can do exactly what you want to do, see exactly what you want to see with this, uh, with this option. And it's really a unique opportunity that more guests may feel comfortable with as we begin cruising again. Reconnect on Regent is a new program that we're offering that is a more private way to explore the world with your family and your friends that you're traveling with in small groups. So this includes free private shore excursions and bespoke shoreside experiences tailored to each group. This allows groups of 10 or more to take private excursions together. You receive a notification in suite when the tour is ready to depart, so you don't even have to wait in the theater with everyone else for your tour to be called. Also, this includes complimentary cocktail party for your group. Now, so getting into the destinations, and as um, promised, we were going to talk about a couple of destinations tonight specifically. Um, our ships cover the globe with more than 450 ports worldwide. Our sailings are, they, they range from seven days on up to 143 nights. World Cruise 2023 just opened this fall in October and basically sold out in days. A full 143-night cruise sold out. Normally, we open up our World Cruise to segments uh, the following January, but this year, we are not doing that for 2023 because it's sold out. It's done. Now, your travel advisor can share the most current brochure with you so you can see our diverse itineraries open through May of 2023. And now is the best time to book for the future, especially 2022. And I'm sure you have been hearing this over and over, but the demand is high and we suggest not waiting. There are cruises already sold out for us in 2022 and some in 2023. So while we are not gonna go into detail in all of these different destinations today, we've highlighted Alaska and the Mediterranean. So first of all, the Mediterranean, there are so many different places to visit in the Med. You could travel there over and over and still not see every place you want to check off your bucket list. Now, in the Med, we have 105 ports that we visit but there are 1,768 free included shore excursions. And remember, these aren't just city tours and bus tours. I have had multiple people tell me and over and over, they cannot believe the tours we include. They cannot believe that they are free. They're amazing tours. I mean, if you have time, as time allows, you could do two or more, depending on how long you're in port you are allowed to do as many as time allows. Now, say in Rome, for example, of course, you have to see the Colosseum, an insider view of the Vatican Museum, St. Peter's Basilica, climb the Spanish steps, find out throw a coin in the Trevi Fountain, and you should definitely get some authentic Italian pizza or even better. There's a short excursion where you can go to a pizza making school at a winery. I think that's up my alley personally. One of the many famous churches in Florence, Italy, the Franciscan Church of Santa Croce. It is notable as the burial place of Michelangelo and Galileo. And Monte Carlo, here is the, Mon the Monaco Harbor with Seven Seas Voyager. So why not try out your hand at the casino of Monte Carlo or visit the Monaco Cathedral or even fly over the beautiful Providence countryside in a helicopter, have a spectacular lunch and take in this classic, beautiful setting before flying back to Monaco. Something that I think that you should check off your bucket list. In any of these ports, Set up a private tour with a car and driver. And of course, any, any of our ports, you can do the private car and driver, but full day, half day experience, see whatever you like. Um, visit St. Mark's Basilica in Venice or take a gondola ride. 
flows down the Grand Canal, past the Palazzos and the Churches of Venice, the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Barcelona, see their architecture, architectural treasures, including two UNESCO World Heritage Sites there, learn to prepare authentic cuisine and a hands-on cooking class, create your own wine, visit the Picasso Museum or take a cable car ride through the city, Santorini, uh, there's a musical heritage tour or visit a volcano in Hot Springs, and of course, many wine tour options. In Tuscany, many options for food and wine tastings here, obviously. Visit the Leaning Tower of Pisa or even explore Florence like a local, sampling, sampling local delicacies and mingling with the locals. Alaska, I mean, this picture, it's Stunning, absolutely stunning. And you could go to Alaska several times and see different things each time you go. With Alaska, we have 13 ports that we visit there, and there are 244 free shore excursions in Alaska that we offer. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, the Hubbard Glacier, with us, you can get so close that you almost can touch it. And the captain will turn the ship in circles. You could be on the top deck of the ship and the ship is turning in circles and it, it's just right there. Or you could sit on your balcony and take all of this in and these breathtaking views. But I think I'd rather be on the top, top deck with the waiter here and having some champagne while, while taking in all of the beautiful scenery. In Juno, crab feast. Uh, I mean, the options are endless of what you can do in all of these ports. Catch a can, take a float plane tour. There's helicopter tours. Also, there are so much wildlife to see in Alaska, and you know, hopefully, you'll you'll that first time you'll catch a glimpse at a bear and a whale, but. Again, I, I recommend going back over and over again. Now, amazing experience in Alaska for all ages, multi-generational families. Maybe you've got a big anniversary or a birthday celebration coming up. It's been your dream to bring your entire family to Alaska. You can do that with Regent because in Alaska, we do offer a children's program called Club Mariner. And that includes all of the shore excursions for the kids as well. Now, I think a dog sled tour would also be a good option to do while you're in Alaska. Remember, you've got, this is a bucket list trip. You've got to check as many things off of it as you can. And of course, land programs, you've got to see Denali National Park while you're there, a musty, or even the Rocky Mountaineer. We have land programs that offer these. You can do all of this through Regent, and that is the best thing. So reach out to your travel advisor because they can help you with all of this. I wanted to remind you, um, if you are a solo traveler, we have what I was told from a single past guest on an on a event like this. She said that Regent has the best singles program out there. And I don't know who she has sailed with. I, I can't say to that, but she said that Regent's solo program is the best. And we have dates 2022, and I don't know if there's any yet into 2023. I'm sure there probably are, but we don't make you wait until closer to sailing to wait for a single discount. We offer them now and ahead of time so you can plan. Now tonight, and I know that, you know, this, this video will be out there for a while, but um, as we have time sensitive offers out there, I just wanted to bring that up. And now is the time to confirm your reservations with Market Square Travel because we have a special bonus that's called Upgrade Your Horizon. And it's ending on February 28th. And this has been an amazing promotion. And we're giving a two category upgrade on originally almost every single sailing. There have been many dates that have been closed out of this promotion because of the demand and the people you ready to get out there and travel. So it's got a 50% deposit. So the deposit is seven and a half percent, which is 
huge. Normally we're at 15%. But the other fact to point out, again, that the demand is so high for future travel. We want you to get your choice and to not be disappointed. So plan ahead right now. I mean, you're going to have to work around babies being born, weddings, oh, I mean, other things. And you want to get what you want. So please make sure that you are looking ahead for 2022 and into 2023 now. Now, plus we have another treat for you, exclusive savings when you book with Market Square Travel. It's an extra savings from $150 to $1,000 off per person for new bookings between February 19th and March 5th. So uh, this is only with Market Square Travel. They're amazing partners. And they also have other things that because we are such amazing partners together that they can offer on Select Voyage. So ask them and they will tell you all about it. Um, Thank you so much for listening tonight. I am so happy that you watch and want to learn more about Region 7 Seas Cruises and our unrivaled space at sea. And we're looking forward to having you on board. Well, thank you, Jody, so much. Great presentation. I love those photos. It really puts me right back there uh, to my experience with Region in both Alaska and the Greek Isles. So fantastic job. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you.